cocking and uncocking. Cocking your crossbow. Cocking your crossbow inaccurately is the most frequent cause of inaccurate shooting. With any crossbow, if the bowstring is not perfectly centered on the string latch when cocked, it will not shoot straight. Regardless of the method you use to cock your crossbow, you must begin by making sure your trigger safety is in the fire or red position. The string sets the safety when you cock the bow. This is visually apparent by watching the safety move from fire, the red position, to safe, the white position. Never test your safety by pulling or preloading your trigger, that is, by pulling it when it is on safe. You can test it by pushing the safety knob in the safe or white direction against the end of the safety knob slot. It should move approximately 1 16th of an inch and then bounce back or spring back once you stop pushing it. This bounce back means the safety is engaged. If there is no bounce back, the safety is not engaged and you must re-engage it by forcefully pulling the bowstring as if you were cocking the crossbow. Also, if the safety knob fails to bounce back, you should contact 10 Points Customer Service Department. It may be necessary for you to return your crossbow for repair. You can manually cock 10 Point Horton and Wicked Ridge models that are not fitted with our ultra-narrow bow assemblies, namely our Compact Limb System, CLS, Extreme Limb Technology, XLT, Reverse Draw, RDX, and Reverse Cam, RCX crossbow assemblies. Do not attempt to cock these models manually because they are too narrow and you will pinch and potentially injure your fingers if you attempt to do so. You will need a cocking assist, such as our AccuDraw or AccuDraw 50 for 10 point and Horton models, or AccuDraw or Accu 52 for Wicked Ridge models. Our Accu Rope, Dead Sled 50, Dead Sled, or a traditional rope cocker. To cock a crossbow manually, begin by making sure the safety knob is in the fire position. Otherwise, the string latch will not engage the bowstring and you will not be able to fire the bow. Instead, the string will be held by the dry fire inhibitor and only appear to be cocked. And the safety knob will remain in the safe position. If this predicament occurs, simply move the safety knob to fire and forcefully pull the bowstring deep into the string slot as if you were cocking the bow. The string will set the safety. Position the foot stirrup on the ground and plant your foot firmly inside it to make sure that it will not slip out while cocking the bow. Grip the bowstring securely with all four fingers of both hands and pull it, making sure your index fingers are flush against the side of the barrel to ensure that you draw the string straight. Simultaneously stand up and pull the bowstring inside the trigger housing's string slot until the safety sets and the string latch engages. Do not let the bowstring slip out of your grip because you could severely injure your fingers or hands. Furthermore, to prevent dry fire, do not relax your grip on the bowstring until you've made certain that the latch is holding the bowstring securely. The bow is cocked when you hear the safety and string latch click and see the safety move from the fire to safe position. Always use proper lifting technique and be careful when manually cocking your crossbow because you could injure your back or shoulders if the draw weight is too much for you to handle. Our cocking aids are available to make it easier to cock. The AccuDraw 50 on some 10-point or Horton crossbows and Accu 52 on some Wicked Ridge crossbows reduce the force needed to cock the bow by 50%. To cock your bow with either of these mechanisms, start with the safety in the fire position and place your foot firmly through the stirrup. Bend over and remove the mechanism's hooks and handles from their housing, holding the handles in the palms of your hands and the hooks between your thumbs and index fingers with the open ends of the hooks facing up. Attach the hooks from underneath the bowstring. Press them snugly to each side of the barrel with your index fingers while you simultaneously stand up and pull the handles until the safety sets and the string latch engages. The bow is cocked when you hear the safety and string latch click and see the safety move from the fire to safe position. Once cocked, remove the hooks from the string and turn their open ends facing outward as you retract them and the handles back toward the housing. 
position the hooks into the housing slots and then return the handles to their storage position just in front of the mechanism's housing. The rare earth magnets inside the T-handles will hold them in place. You should be aware that rare earth, also known as neodymium magnets, may interfere with the normal operation of pacemakers or other medical implants. Individuals with such implants should avoid using these cocking mechanisms or should have the magnets removed before using them. The AccuDraw is a gear-assisted cocking mechanism that reduces the force needed to cock the crossbow to about 5 pounds. It is an optional feature on all 10-point and Horton crossbows and select Wicked Ridge models. It is available as an add-on accessory as well for all Wicked Ridge models. To operate it, begin by standing the crossbow on its foot stirrup. To ensure safe operation, do not place your foot inside the stirrup. If by chance the draw cords were to break while cocking the bow, the string or claw could release and injure your foot. Make sure the safety is in the fire position. Disengage the safety pawl or lever and remove the claw from its storage position. Lift it over the bow's sighting system, usually a scope, and pull it forward while positioning its string slot securely in place on the bowstring with the claw's guide ridge seated in the barrel's flight groove. Re-engage the safety pawl and insert the crank's hex socket onto the gear driver through the hole in the side of the housing. Never crank the AccuDraw without first engaging its safety pawl. Because if the crank handle were to slip out of your hand, it would spin wildly, possibly causing bodily injury. The crank's hex socket also contains a neodymium magnet, which may interfere with the normal operation of pacemakers or other medical implants. Again, individuals with such implants should avoid using the AccuDraw or should have the magnet removed before using it. If you are advised not to use a magnetized crank, contact customer service at 330-628-9245, option 2. Turn the crank clockwise until the bowstring is about to enter the trigger housing string slot. Then, keep your eye on the trigger's safety knob. When it engages or moves from the fire to safe position, stop cranking. You may also simultaneously hear or feel the safety engage and the string latch click into place. Note that it is possible to either overcrank or undercrank the mechanism. Overcranking can damage the unit and or break the draw cord or stock, and undercranking can leave the bowstring stranded on the DFI, at which point the string will have failed to engage the safety or string latch. Once you've locked and loaded the string, so to speak, rotate the crank clockwise approximately one quarter of an inch or just far enough to enable you to ease the tension on the pawl or lever, allowing you to disengage it. Then reverse the crank about two and a half turns until the draw cord is no longer under tension. Continuing to unwind the mechanism more than two and a half to three turns after the string tension is relieved will damage your AccuDraw. Remove the crank, then remove the claw from the bowstring and allow it to retract to its storage position behind the trigger housing. Never leave the claw inside the trigger box's string slot after cocking your crossbow. If you fire the crossbow with the claw inside the trigger box and still on the bowstring, it will launch the claw, possibly causing serious personal injury and or property damage. After the claw is properly stored, re-engage the safety pawl, reinsert the crank, and turn it clockwise to place a small amount of tension on the claw if your crossbow has a standard string claw holder. To prevent damage, do not add tension to the claw if the claw goes into its resting place vertically. The AccuRope is a compact, auto-retractable cocking rope that is not built into the buttstock. Like the AccuDraw 50 and Accu52, it reduces the force needed to cock a crossbow by 50% and is compatible with most crossbows on the market. As with all the cocking methods we have discussed, first make sure that your safety is in its fire position. Place the crossbow on the ground with your foot firmly inside the stirrup. Then while holding the larger of the two grips in the palm of your right hand, push down on the top of the smaller grip and slide the AccuRope handles apart. The larger grip contains the retraction mechanism and stores the draw cord when retracted. 
Depending on your crossbow model, position the center of the cord on the stock behind the trigger box, inside the thumb hole on stocks equipped with them, or in the draw cord groove on models that have them. Holding the grips in the palms of your hands and the hooks between your index fingers and your thumbs, with the open end of the hooks facing up, reach down and engage the string from underneath it. Simultaneously stand and pull on the draw handles until the crossbow is cocked. While keeping the grips in your hands, reach down, remove the hooks from the bowstring, and allow the cord to retract into its storage grip. Finally, dovetail the handles together and return the AccuRope to its storage pouch. In addition, the Dead Sled 50 Cocking Assist is also available. It enables you to reduce the draw weight by 50% and accurately cock most reverse draw crossbows. To cock the crossbow with a Dead Sled 50, start with the safety in the fire position. Place your foot firmly in the stirrup, grasp a T-handle in each hand, and position the center of the Dead Sled 50 cord in the crossbow's cord groove behind the trigger box. Then, attach the sled to the bowstring with its guide post resting inside the channel on the crossbow's rail. Grasp a handle in each hand and pull up until the safety sets and the string latch engages. The bow is cocked when you hear the safety and string latch click and see the safety move from the fire to the safe position. Once cocked, remove the dead sled 50 from the string. As previously mentioned, if you try to cock your crossbow with the safety activated, that is, in the safe position, the string latch will not capture the bowstring and the safety will not engage. Instead, the DFI will catch and hold the string, making it look like the crossbow is cocked when it is not. Whenever the bowstring is held by the DFI, you cannot fire the crossbow. You must complete the cocking motion. First, push the safety into the fire position and then forcefully pull the bowstring into the back of the trigger box's string slot, either by hand or with your cocking device. The string latch will capture the string, and the string will automatically activate or push the safety into the safe position. After you perform this technique, check to make sure the string is no longer held by the DFI. Uncocking your crossbow. One of the most frequent questions we receive is, how do I uncock my crossbow if I do not take a shot? The only safe way to uncock your crossbow is to shoot it. Ten Points Crossbow Unloading Bolt, Cub, and the Omni Cub have been designed strictly for this purpose. The unloading bolts are single-use, two-piece biodegradable unloading shafts, which decompose in or on the ground over time. Reverse draw or RDX models require the Omnicub because of their severe string angle when cocked. The severe string angle prevents the moon or crescent style knock end of the original cub from properly engaging the bowstring. This condition may cause a dry fire that could damage the crossbow and or injure the shooter or anyone nearby. You can also shoot an old arrow equipped with a field tip into soft rock free dirt or sand or better still, you can fire it into a discharge target. Check your local regulations, however, for restrictions on field tip possession while hunting.